Good morning. It's almost afternoon. Everybody, this is Mia. It is Friday. The event that I dread <laughs> is here, and I did not list all my videos about this um, waterfall event yesterday. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I am taking my class, and I got riled up because the guys next door, they have their own garbage and recycling. They took our garbage are recycling and used it as a trash can for their cups of soup. Really? That's nasty. That is not recyclable. I don't care what you say. It should be incinerated. All those germs are going into our thing and they're going to put it right next to our house and attract bugs because it's not bagged up and it's not... In, um, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm just... <laughs> it's like, well, I don't own the house. This is what happens. People have inspections, people call it maintenance, or the other people when you don't want them to come into your home because you're not there to watch over your stuff. This is what happens when I don't own. Let's see, today is the 10th. Let's go ahead and go down to, I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, why does this look weird? Oh, because 11, 11, 10. Why is that? Oh, because I took a picture. I was like, okay. 11, this is all like jumbled. It starts with 20, 23, 11, 10. That's still today. I almost took two pictures. Okay, let's look at yesterday. 2023, 11, 9, and 11, 9. Oh, I don't know either of these. Dagonic. Oh, I hate when this happens, you guys. I am so mad. These aren't even... Those are pictures also. Okay. I had to do picture for my notary class. Okay, I get it now. All right, let's go here. 11, 9. So I still have two for 11, 9. One's 24 minutes and one's 45 minutes. So I'm just going to change it. 11, 11, 9, check in. 25 minutes. I'm just going to put it like that. Okay, that's number one. And let me look at the other one again. I'm wearing a different outfit. I'll just make sure that I remember. Okay, so I am on a marathon to watching Catfish on MTV. On TV, that is kind of MTV but it is not live when I watch it let me go to my um, let me go ahead and add my disclaimer on I don't even know where to find this okay I really have a hard time finding this document I was hoping it would be under current documents are most used so I can maybe get started or something so I had to put it for YouTube and then disclaimer so today in my um business and my messages I did go ahead and put that I am out of the office and that um I just kind of changed my entire message actually and I just changed the end so I wanted to keep it as similar to the other one so hopefully people listen to the end and say that I will be out of the office setting appointments for 2024 let's try to keep it simple I wanted to say more but I wanted to keep it simple um, and I had is it cash app or Venmo that wants their last four digits I still haven't gotten any donations a friend of mine looks like a model or she makes herself look like a model with makeup and hair and clothes and she's trying to get a hundred or forty thousand dollar prize I guess for this contest for over 40 so it's like that's amazing she's doing really well she keeps placing in the top one, like the top, like the highest or the top 10 or the top 20, 15. It's always the top, whatever. 
she was pretty lucky to be able to have looks like that. She doesn't mean she's going to win, but it, she would get like a modeling page in the magazine. So it's crazy to think like that if you're doing that well and people approve of your looks. You're going to be treated differently. You're going to be rewarded differently. Um, and it's to each their own. My back is really hurting. I Oh, yeah. So I told you guys that I was trying to plan some travel. And I did that last night. And I ended up um, kind of spacing out on time for an hour or two. Because I was when, wanting to text somebody. And by the time I looked up, it was like 8.30. And I was like, oops, I meant to text to say, hey, I'm available um, to call. Because I, uh, I chatted with him the day before. And I, I didn't end up doing it. And I was okay because I was already ready to go to sleep. And I just said, commit to this flight that you need to take soon so I want to cry guys because it's it's literally now that I look at the date it's literally in a month um, commit to this journey then I have this booklet I can't see um, the recording screen so I can't see if you can see anything sorry I have this booklet that someone gave me that I put in my desk over here and I'm like <laughs> my secretary desk I'm like, oops, it's blank all the way through, and I brought it out so my partner could try to figure out his vacation for next year, even though this is this year. So I went ahead and grabbed a pencil. Like, can I use this again in four years or ten years? Like, just let it go. So I went ahead and marked some of the things that are going on this month and next month. And, um, so it's a birth interview by somebody. Um, so holiday on the 23rd, I kind of really like paper schedules, but, you know, it goes like, it's like the Google calendar is really fun for me on my phone and it doesn't match up equally on my other devices. So for whatever reason, which is, I'm really annoying with this. Oh, I sent some emails out this week and last week because I didn't get um, continuing education for my one of my conferences I spent all day in and it what's weird is nobody's even responding um, I'm wondering if it's because it's the um, I did the scholarship for the BIPOC and I was like embarrassed like oh but I think I have the credits for my naturopathic midwifery or my childbirthing um, license in December and I think for peer review I need to check because I've been going through so many licensing things and since I have a month I have to finish this class right now because for okay so I'm switching gears naturopathic midwifery naturopathic do for Oregon and then my Vermont one I got a friendly little email yesterday that said it's been extended to June I think of 2024 and so I have a registered agent for that state but I don't have um, the business license yet so I'm going to need to come up with money and I might even though I'm pay paying for the registered agent I'm feeling like I need to hold off until April so I probably should have waited for the Vermont and it's like November, December, January, February, March, April. Yeah, that's five months of unused service. That's kind of stupid. But I'm trying to think. Because I don't want to be paying 300 or something or whatever amount of money to have a business license in state that I don't have any patients, no line. And I need to do the exact same for Washington. So I don't like, I like writing stuff. I don't like having a calendar like this because I don't always have it with me. Um, I mean, it may be if I got like a purse one, but I remember doing um, some kind of free kind of support with organization of 
home life and everything and them talking about having a calendar keeping everything on the same calendar versus having a bunch of little calendars because then you literally will lose track and that's hard too when I'm in my business so I have to go back through my work calendar speaking of and change appointments for some stuff for my work that's going to likely take place in person so I won't be here and I'm really freaked out about it um and I'm really happy about it at the same time and I'm going to be I wasn't able to find a direct flight back here and this is weird because all the summertime months we had direct flights so I'm gonna I had a choice between Denver a lot of choices in Denver O'Hare and uh, Chicago O'Hare and San Francisco which I haven't been to I've only been to O'Hare and I wasn't in the mood for O'Hare San Francisco I hope is not worse but there's, I told myself not to look out the window, but I did. My back is really hurting, so I, I couldn't change my physical exam. And for my mammogram, I actually had to wait until January. So they wouldn't schedule me. Oh, my back hurts. I think last time I had it, was it 11.25? And I have, let's see, I, have, I, f I just remembered I made a dental appointment. Let's see when that was. So, so my car tags expire, so I'm going to see my car, but I'm going to try to get the tags now. My God. I don't know. I think it's two months. I should try. I should look it up because if it expires, I'm going to be pretty mad. All right. So I have a appointment. Where did I make that dentist appointment? Okay. Let's see. The schedule is so full. Yesterday was the only day where there was only one thing in my schedule. So I got to change uh, my prescriber appointment. I got to get enough. I was freaking out in the summer because I didn't know if I was going to have enough of my medications. Um, I have a month's worth. So in a month, I have a month and I think I counted out 30. It looks like I have a month and a half. And I need two months. So in a month from now, I'm going to need to get another renewal. And I don't, I don't know how to do it. Last time I had to pay cash because they wouldn't do that. So I need to get, um. have about 45 days um, as of 11.10 and I need 23 I need 60 plus days right so I have to change this ap appointment change January appointment okay So, did I get, they put everything, did I get any refills? Why does she keep not having refills? I guess that's an insurance policy for the, continue to come, let's see, that one, 923, zero refills, okay. My back hurts so bad, I don't, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, and I don't know, I haven't figured out what that is yet, so, um, Put a star on that, and then um, what is this? Oh, the air flight. The flight is. It says the twelfth. Oh, okay. That's a long time from now. Um, I know I made a dentist appointment. I was complaining about it, but it actually works out. I was trying, I wasn't trying very hard to. Statewide meeting, I, I won't be able to do that in person. 
I don't know where my dental appointment is. I cannot find it. Alright, I'm almost at the end of the month. Yep, it's at the end of the month, so that one's okay. January 29th. I'm going to put a big OK here. Put Easton. Alright, so here's my check-in. Forget about trying to make a video for the non-regular viewers. I've prepared items. I've done some laundry. I meant to get up this morning and do my own laundry. As you can kind of see, it is 12, 14, and it's pretty dark in here. I have the light on. My ring light is still broken as far as I know. I could try it one more time. And I haven't done my exercises. I've, I've had some tea and a banana to eat. I didn't have anything else. I almost wish this was one of those weeks that I ordered um, food from LA. So the light lights up, but when I push it, it doesn't do anything. So let's take it off the tripod. So I'm about to throw it in the trash. And then what last thing I'll do is I'll plug it in. So here's the tripod. Let's put that somewhere so I don't lay on it. And I'll show you the light, this heart-shaped one. So I think, I feel like there must be a short since it's accepting the energy. But I'm stupid because I bought two from the same place. The other one broke physically or the tripod thing broke this thing broke like the first time I opened it up like the screw got stripped and then I couldn't use that swivel so I don't know if this is the reason why so plug it in I had this in plugged in here and I think the screen oops yeah that light works because I thought maybe it was the um something was weird going on with the outlet why don't I have space for this I have to do it in the back, I guess. Let me do it right here. So I don't have any lemonade made, even though I rushed to get lemons. So it's lit up, light up, lit, lit up again. It's not lighting up though. Let's see. So I guess I'll just throw it in the trash. So I don't have any issues and do one more time but my back hurts and I had some pain somewhere the other day and I my natural remedies didn't work so I think it's something to do with this thing because it was coming on by itself or either that or some kind of remote control No views. I have a lot of zero views. Like, subscribe, share the video, watch it into its entirety in the background. I'm going to go and pause you. And I do still have to change my schedule, which is annoying, but it's this tentative thing. Everything that's leading up to what I did now, it's like it's kind of hard because my life feels like a huge puzzle with a bunch of pieces and I have the drive and slight motivation to do all the pieces I got all the pieces in the box thousand pieces in the box and I just like I feel like when I do my work I get half of the, I'll be lucky to get at least half of these pieces together and then it feels like everything else just gets sucked into a vacuum and just times it out and it's done and you gotta discard that and start a whole new set of plans and I'm tired of that I want things to be done in their entirety if once in a while my plans get changed or there's a pandemic and shuts down a conference or something weird happens someone gets sick that's one thing account for that but I don't like everything to be I mean it almost it ends up that I do get sick like I do get 
physically sick, I get allergies, I get um, untreated. I, I'm into now three weeks without the therapist. I, I was supposed to do once a week minimum, but at least every two weeks. It's already been three weeks, a little shy of three weeks. I'm going to come back, pause, period. I'm going to come back and I'm going to look out here and I'm going to give you guys an update on what's going on. And I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and start some tea because I'm, I'm really slow today. I so kind of wish I had gone back to sleep again because I'm beat and I'm sore and I don't know what is happening with my body, but it's getting real, real, like... I went to our peace vigil last night and I could barely stand. I was about to sit down on the curb and I was scared because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get, get out. I've never had this amount of pain in my entire body. It's been gradually getting worse since the automobile accident at the end or the October 10th, 20, what year? 2014, nine years ago. I used to have pains here and there. I used to have swelling from allergies I used to carry a backpack and I had some pain but then you have a break and you lighten it and it does it hurts but not as much but this car accident it just it's making it like I want to go walk to the bathroom and I need a walker kind of thing and I've been trying to do more of the little bits here and there on my physical therapy and from home and I was like this is not I, I feel like I actually need to go to physical therapy because I need to, I mean, I've been just doing that from the fall last year, the wrist and the ankle, that was it recently, but I need to go back for the back pain and just the why, I mean, the car accident caused a lot of damage to my spinal cord and my neck, but this is, this is getting worse and I'm hanging out with 80 something year old folks and I'm trying to figure out what kind of orthotics, what kind of tricks of the trade do they have to remain active because it is right now it's unbearable how can I do my task when I feel like it's like you don't care about anything anymore because it hurts it takes away motivation the pain is so bad it's like I'm people like I don't want to say it you could be like totally drunk and high and be in a similar state of whatever's going on around you, whatever. Like, you're gonna persevere, you're gonna be yourself, but it's not as like focused on the task because it's such a distraction. That's not true for everybody. That <laughs> was like drinking and, and drugging for some people, they may do, but I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to figure out how to compare it to someone. It's so distracting. I know I'm not the only one. It's like, oh my God, this is, this is the worst it's ever been. I'm almost about to take that 8 a.m. appointment. Um, let me pause you. Alright, I'm back from my search. So I did um, empty the dehumidifier. It's raining. It's probably a good time. And plus the laundry yesterday didn't get fully dehydrated or dehydrated, dehumidified. Um, you might be able to hear that noise. But I feel like everything it cancels out the background noise, so which is kind of sad if you're trying to play the guitar or something for somebody and it doesn't come through because I've had that happen um, with another instrument with somebody. I have um, this window I checked a couple times. There's a bunch of people out there. There's a bunch of voices you can hear out there. People talking right outside this wall on the first floor on the ground level and then the I did hear a bunch of noises either on the side, people talking or under and or under me. And then I went and checked the back. There's um different a bunch of cars parked back there, some differences. Let's see it's twelve thirty. So th technically this road started at eight or this road closure started at eight AM and um the other ones were released by nine. When I walked around yesterday you could see the sides. Something like that. There's soup being sold here. There's a kitchen here. Or, or a couple food carts here. Someone put up some stands and a porta potty stand up desk. Or sorry, stand up 
um, I just call them like cafe tables and then um, there's people walking around in the back here so I'm not expecting any deliveries because uh, UPS is open today but I don't know about FedEx I'm not expecting delivery so I hope our other door is shut um, Oh yeah, the rain. It's raining. Let me look at the forecast. See what it says on here. 49 degrees. That can't be right. So these people over here sell antiques and they sell um, soup. And they sell it everywhere for a lot of money. Oh my God. Why did I go to med school and get half a million dollars in debt when I could have sold soup? And it's not like they make it from scratch. Nobody really, any restaurant, you might make it. It's not like... I'm not making anything from scratch because I don't own land or else I'd be like, see this tomato or see this green bean? I made it from scratch. I should pull some green beans out of the freezer and stick them in the de dehumidifier. I think I'm going to do that. I have cauliflower. It's going to make mashed potatoes. I was going to be like, I'm going to be like a mini Thanksgiving. I don't care. What's the date? The 10th? Come on. We got less than two weeks, right? Let's just say, oh, this paper calendar. I'm kind of liking it. This is the old way. The 23rd, today's the 10th. They got one whole week and then Thanksgiving. Wow, already? So that means my kids are in finals. No, finals don't happen until I think two weeks after the, they go back from Halloween, or Halloween, Thanksgiving. They have two weeks of finals. All right. No, it looks like three. So maybe one week of coursework and I always call it lab finals and then the last week is regular finals. Ooh, you guys pray for me. I'll pray for you. I can't take these changes. Okay, I have to. Okay. It's rain at 91% now, which is cold. 48, 48, 48, 47 at five, but that will be four to five will be cloudy. And a less likelihood of rain. So after one, between one and two, so in a half an hour, it'll cut down to about 46% chance of rain. It'll rise up a tiny bit, um, according to this forecast. But yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that cold. It was nice yesterday, I think. Yeah, I wore like khakis and a. I don't know what I wore. Tank top with a jean jacket? I don't know what I wore. It's been kind of iffy, warmish. And I was okay, but it was starting to get later and hazier or cloudier. And I was like, there's a chill in the air. So when I went to my evening event, I was like, you know, I don't trust myself wearing the, what do you call them? I call them capris. I don't know what they're called. Short pants. Non-short, short, short pants. I was like, I don't trust myself. And the other khakis I tried on are too small. So I got to put those up for sale. I wanted to do crafting all day, but I'm like, you need to get rid of the stuff that's taking your space. Like, you need to just declutter and do all that. But I'll have a couple hours that I can do that. Um, I really want to take a nap. It's a good rainy day. I haven't been sleeping well. I've just been just overwhelmed. And my admin administrative sabbatical is not has not been restful. Even if I don't do eight hours of work in the day, I'm still having to do the admin work. And if I even took a day to say, hey, I'm not going to do this billing, which I need to do, I need to do it because it needs to be resolved before the end of the year. It really does. Um, I will end up still trying to do the phone calls and the emails and the other messages that come through the EHR so I really have to um, if I really want to take a break I need to have it hired out and because I have no primary care patients right now I feel like it's the saving grace if I use that term correctly um, even though I'm my old clinic it, it was set up for primary care but the patients had their own primary care and pediatricians um, but I kind of was doing co-care but I was trying to set up to do primary care and with um, Medicaid Care Oregon uh, 100 new patients a month 100 new patients a month 
they denied everything from my clinic because um, the inspector lied about everything and they refused to return to the clinic to do the inspection again after I sent pictures of everything this person lied about. She should have been reprimanded. There was two inspectors. They lied. They said there was no locks on the doors, no covers on the window. They said I didn't have any guy and stuff. I had everything. I had cover. I had a little tiny window. I had two covers on it. So I basically sealed it off with a piece of foam. And then I put a curtain over it to make it look not so foamy, you know. Like, you know. And then I had um, lock on the door. One or two locks on the door. I had a uh, doorbell. I had an open sign. I had chairs in the hall. I had um, reading room chairs. I had guy equipment. I had a, a wedge because my table wasn't a guy table, but I had a wedge to do guy exams. I had all the speculums. I had all of the, um, the, what do you call them? Paddles. What? I don't think that's the word. I had all the little paddles for the, um, pap smears. I had all of the in date um, sample containers that you send back to the lab that has the preservative in it. They never asked. I had all the cleaning products. I had a fire extinguisher. They never asked. They just made it up. And they made fun of me the whole time that I was in there. And I'd been up all night making sure everything was just right. Um, I had different lights on the wall. I had... 100% 95 plus percent of the checklist which my friend had already told me what to expect so I set it up she got 95 plus percent she had none I had two white ladies she was this other lady was black and she had a lady that was uh, Latina it was a nightmare for me guys and that screwed up my income. That screwed up my ability to provide what I was used to providing care that I thought I would upgrade the clinic to another space down the road that had um, some units for like 800, just twice as much as this, but it had waiting room, reception area, treatment rooms, offices, and like counter areas right next to the bathroom. And it had a spot to do a handy um, accessible first floor door um, next to a bathroom and I'm actually in that space now because the other space kicked me out but my plan was to just full-time be a doctor get the patients get the new patients schedule them potentially um, hire some help get to a bigger office and be able to even upgrade by then that plan fell apart after my dad's plan fell apart so right now right before that inspection I had the car accident and I was still attending births on call 24 7 365 no pay whatsoever not even a gas card or any no kind of holiday gift not even a card they don't say like oh I mean we could have sent them a card and say thank you for being my teacher but you did a lot of um, manual labor <laughs> a lot a lot a lot a lot and you are literally putting yourself in danger if you get needle poke or you're exposed to blood, that's on you. That's on your clock and on your medical bill that you're going to get to go and get treated. Um, someone could be HIV uh, negative when they're pregnant, have a home birth, but who knows who they've been exposed to or what comes up three to you know nine months later. So... I think that I need to, I think I have an attitude problem towards all this risk I put myself in without compensation when I didn't think that I could work a job where you at least don't get minimum wage and that you at least don't go into more debt for. But I'm pretty burnt out. As you can see, I'm squirming. I squirm and fidget a lot, but my back really hurts. So I wanted to keep you guys posted on the events out there. I feel really envious of all these shops and shop owners that are going to have an excellent, excellent income this weekend. And they're going to go home. They're going to smile. They're going to be so happy. Their family's going to have good holidays. I mean, I kind of hope that they do. It's, it would be sad to be the one person that didn't 
and the people that came here and the people that set up booths and uh, artwork they've been spending months the whole year two years getting to this this point and the families that are wealthy enough to come here and rent the hotels during one of the busiest weekends of the year they worked hard and they are able to provide their family with a country small town brick buildings adventure I seen all these people standing on these girls that were very not dressed very much like they didn't have many clothes on people were staring them down and I was standing at the people like do they know them like but it's like hey I mean I I tend to over modest myself and then if I'm like I need to get some sun on my legs I need to wear some shorts you know like this this is dark and cloudy and I got dark skin it's hard enough to get my vitamin D you know I get to be like that but um, I think I'm gonna go in shoot I can't make my appointment for my physical um, I guess I'll check in with you I'll have a couple hours still that I can get some work done um, but yeah the body pain is getting worse that that also happened when I was training for midwifery um, I got in an accident that totaled the car I was in and that's when all this pain became chronic and I just I don't even know I have eye damage from it that's why I have glasses I have I had perfect vision I know people get older but I literally had eye vision issues and also um, eye doctor told me what the car accident caused problems and it's uh some different problems besides the vision and I got injured by getting hit with a football with my right eye I can't even really see with my right eye anymore like if I wanted to not wear my glasses I would have to look in my left eye it's just I got severely injured I had to go my cornea got all torn up I'm gonna cry guys I have friends that are in their 80s and 90s or at least acquaintances, acquaintances and friends in 70s. And they are spunky, active, and happy. They have their needs met. All the people I'm talking about are white. They have their retirement. My relatives are in their 70s, plus they're still working. Black women, single moms, divorced moms, widowers, they're still working. But they have a certain amount of peace that I don't have. That clean house, big old monsters house plants big pets big dogs fish tanks they got all that yard place to go in the driveway and wash your car and detail it mm. the American dream it's not that I can't do it because I'm black it's because I haven't not figured it out all my black relatives live in black neighborhoods too and try to get a realtor to help you with a, just a typical neighborhood like I live here in this town and I want to be close to my work and my family and my friends and my churches and stuff it's like it's hard the struggle is real I hope I find out some good news the only way I can earn money is if I go sit down and earn money and um, sometimes I wish I had passive income set up more for myself and uh, this this health thing the COVID-19 when I got sick with that the injuries the thing I thought about when I was coming back to talk to you guys here was when I continue to be pretty strict on my health food journey and my exercise regimen I also I didn't feel like I was invincible but I thought that I could overcome or prevent at least attempt if you try you don't always succeed I wanted to attempt to avoid chronic inflammatory diseases that my ancestors had the cancers the heart diseases the diabetes I wanted to do something different as an experiment and I was on a roll I was losing losing weight my hair felt like maybe it was growing back my skin started um, clearing up 
and that car hit us from behind me and the other indie midwife and my life has not been the same since it's I was supposed to talk to someone about disability for physical ailments at the time and I had no way to pay for the visits. I've shared this a mil million times with you guys, but I need help. I, I really wanted to go to acupuncture or something. I'm my own, I'm a doctor myself, integrative healthcare, and I am getting stumped and it's the condition that I was actually diagnosed with, degenerative joint disease. The, surgery is your option and inflammatory um, see your doctor for your own health care needs but that's just one of many conditions and I know people can say hey when you're my age I have older people say when you're my age you're going to be wish that you were the age that you are now but I'm just like this is hard I think a lot of times when people are injured or when you have babies like I have the diastasis still in my abdomen. I feel it. Like you can't see my belly, but you could feel the, the separation of the muscles still because I didn't have help after my kids were born. I didn't have any help. Could you imagine not having any help? Wow. I went to so many births, I couldn't imagine what anyone else would say. Um, they even give out. Um, partner maternity paternity leave or whoever parents coming sisters coming doulas and all these different help that you can get I can't I know there's a lot of mothers or single moms or anything um when you try to go from exercising being pregnant or having a baby and your body's kind of turned inside out or getting an accident or getting an injury, you try to rush and do your activities again. My back is really hurting, oh my God. When you try to do that, your body doesn't have a chance to heal. When you get sick and you have a cold and they say you can, you only have two sick days and you only want to use one because you only have two per year and you have kids that you might need to miss for and you don't want to, you kind of want to space out that sick day, that four to eight hours of pay that you would have gotten. You know, like, okay, I can take a four-hour cut or eight-hour cut this pay period, but, you know, if I need it again, I'm not going to just have an absence, sick day without any sick pay, right? And you just go, we feel like we're rushed to go back to work and just deal with our illness and not resolve the illness. And then everyone else is getting sick, and then you linger with your coughs and your sniffles, and then it's just like a nightmare and stuff adapts and changes and viruses like just get bounced around again and you were kind of immune to the first one but now you're not because it's adapted it's like all these things I think about about our society productivity I feel like we need a more of a cushion and we we need some affordable options going to Dollar Tree going to Walmart going to the cheap stores and cheap, being a student in a cheap school that used to be somewhat affordable Buying a small little house, buying a trailer on your own cheap rural land that used to be affordable, it's not. So the people that the divide of the poor got poor, the rich got richer, and the middle class disappeared. There's so many new wealthy people that will continue to pay the prices. Oh, I want to go buy one little chicken at the store. 